They just do what they always do. Why is he yeah, putting Leo Pomer on the first line? Like Welcome to the Rock. So today, I'm going to talk to you guys about one Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, one of the greatest goal well, not one of, I should say. Um, the greatest goal scorer of our generation. Um, and, you know, even if he doesn't catch Gretzky, he'll say, is he the best goal scorer ever? Um, but he's 22 days away from actually becoming an unrestricted free agent. And I could all, I think we could all agree that Ovechkin, um, while he's representing himself, he doesn't have an agent, he's going to end up back on the Washington Capitals. But let's just talk for happenstance for the purpose of this. 22 days away from unrestricted free agency, can we fathom Alex Ondo Ovechkin wearing another jersey other than the Washington Capitals come October? Um, you know, for me, I, I would say if that event happens where comes the 28th, I got rid of the five-day interview period, which I was kind of really never really a fan of to begin with. Kind of took out all the fun away from July 1st. Once July 1st hit, like, everyone just announced their deals. Now that they can't do that, it's more of the, the speculation and, you know, rumors. That's the fun part about it. But come the 28th, if Ovechkin, once he actually is able to receive phone calls from other teams, even though it was an intention to stay. At that point, could it become real enough for him, or could he become enticed enough from another team where he would start to think about leaving the Washington Capitals? Now, I know the main reason why he hasn't signed yet is that the Capitals don't want to waste a protection spot in the expansion draft on him. They could protect another player, and then once the expansion draft's over, they can make a final with Ovechkin. But while doing that, you also run the risk of getting closer to free agency. Could the seed of doubt or temptation to play anywhere else set in Ovechkin's mind? Um, and th and that's, a, that's a good question because, you know, even though teams right now believe he's not leaving, you better bet your ass come the 28th, you're going to have a lot of GMs calling his agent just gauging if there's any interest about him coming to play for their hockey club. And again, I think we're all in agreement that he's probably all but signed and will remain a capital, but just for the discussion of it. If it reaches that point on the 28th and Ovechkin can receive phone calls from other teams, what teams do you guys think he actually would listen to? Or do you think, um, you know, there's only a short list of one or two teams he would, he would entertain playing with? It's something that some players, and you could point to the, the Tavares thing where People said, oh, well, they believed him. So he probably was going to sign with the Islanders. But then it got to that window, and then the seed of doubt went in, and that's when the opportunity presented his mind. Hey, you know, I could go play somewhere else. Could the same thing happen to Ovechkin? It's going to be very interesting if the Capitals even let it get to that point. Um, I think they would be smart enough, literally, once the expansion draft's over, finalize that contract. Um, but if it comes 28th, then he's allowed to receive phone calls. I'm interested to see... Um, you know, who he would possibly be interested in playing with. Because seeing him in another team's uniform would just look so... It, it would just look really, really weird. It would be like watching Crosby in another team's uniform. It's, it's really it's really hard to picture. But, um, you know, just to start before handing over to you guys, what your thoughts are, what team do you think you entertain? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's many, but I, I would have to say... Uh, Obviously, the Rangers, New York City. I, I don't know. I don't obviously it's cap wise and making that work, but you would think because it's New York, there would be one. Um, you would think that the Lightning would be one. Again, they're in no position to do it, but being that it's Florida, I know he spent some time in Florida uh, down there in the warmer weather. Um, you know, Vegas is another city. Uh, he seems like a guy that would really enjoy that uh, that nightlife. Um, and then, honestly. I heard people mention it to me, but the Islanders. Barry Trotz was his favorite coach. Got him over the hump. Um, you know, playing, being re being reunited with Barry uh, in a new building. Uh, I think that's the team that he would consider too. But um, again, I, I don't see it happening. But again, I, I just thought it'd be fun to discuss and even entertain the possibility of the greatest goal scorer ever hitting a free agent market. Just to say for the record, by the way, I had it ready to go. Welcome to the Rock. Could Ovi come to the island? Uh, and and you wait until now <laughs> until eventually finally get that question. Phil, your thoughts on this first? 
Uh, I don't see it happening. I, it just, I couldn't even tell you who I would see him going to. I, 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 would he want to play for the Rangers? Maybe. I don't know, but there's no way they can make it even happen. There's no way. They're not going to do it for another winger. They'll do it for Igo, but they're, they're not, they're not going to be able to, to get him. I, I get it, you know, and then not only that, but Alexander Ovechkin, and we haven't even touched on this yet, but Alexander Ovechkin is a gigantic Vladimir Putin supporter. How would he mesh on a team with Artemi Panarin, who just had that controversy earlier on in the year and had to miss two weeks worth of time because he openly criticized Vladimir Putin and you know, supported Alexei Navalny and, and ended up having to take a leave of absence to make sure that his family was okay because of what was going on with that hit piece that Andre Nazarov put out there, who was another known, again, lackey. So I, I, I can't I can't even see that happening, to tell you the truth, with the Rangers after thinking about that. Florida? Florida is probably be the one place I could think of where I would say, hey, you know what, maybe he goes down there, enjoys the weather, because, you know, he likes to probably spend time there in the offseason. He's got a fellow Russian in Bobrovsky there. Um, I mean, he would fit with that team. He's, he's a fit with almost any team he goes to because he's just friggin' Alexander. He's Alexander friggin' Ovechkin. He's the Rob Van Dam of the NHL. He is the whole effing show for wrestling fans. They'll understand that reference. But, um, yeah, the Rangers have had some bad issues with social media this year. And I, I really don't think it would be a good look for Alexander Ovechkin with the Rangers, especially after what was going on with the whole Panarin situation. Um, I, don't, I don't see it happening to begin with. I think it's Washington or KHL. And the only team that I could even really think of that would actually work for him in a way would possibly be the Florida Panthers if they could somehow finagle the cap space. But that's the problem. You have a 36-year-old that um, that has a big, big cap hit. He's going to look for double digits again at 36. And that's another problem. That contract, and he, and he definitely deserves it. He deserves to be a $10 million a year player. He's still that good, but the decline that you have to worry about is age and just just the, the, the overall like fit. You got you gotta worry about these things. And I, I, I don't know how a lot of teams can fit a, a high salary play, a player right now in this flat cap situation. And then on top of that, have him be 36 years old and have to worry about a potential decline in his play coming up real soon. So, I mean, is it an interesting discussion? Yeah, it is. I mean, is it fun to speculate about where you would think he would go? Sure, yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, he's not going anywhere. So he's either going home and I think he's going to resign. It's just a matter of when the deal happens, when the deal is announced. So. Um, I think he would actually give the Caps a discount to stay in Washington. I don't think... He really, I think he has some interest in free agency. I don't think he has a lot. Um, he would have to figure out the right situation. I know a lot of people are saying, what about Ovechkin on the Islanders? Uh, that would be Barry, the pipe I, dream of pipe dreams, but. Barry but Trotz will give him a phone call on the 28th. If we got that point, if it reached 28, Barry Trotz is picking up the phone and calling him and saying, hey, Ovi, we did it in Washington. I'm not saying you would do it, but the phone call would happen. I just questioned if, and not that I question whether or not he wants to win, because I still think he wants to win, and I still think he wants to win as Washington Capital. Um, he well, sometimes once you get to the top of the mountain, you achieve your goal. People said he couldn't win a cup. Then he won a cup. He won a Conn Smythe. Yeah, he does want to win another cup, but I don't think it's as much of a priority as passing Gretzky, and or getting near Gretzky. And I think that would probably be the next thing. And I think. Um, uh, oh yeah, when uh, MJ we got the uh, Larry Brooks having the bromance with the, uh, with well, he was old, probably one of the only people that didn't yell at him. Um, but it's just as far as um, I <laughs> there are swimmable fountains out like that. Uh, as far <laughs> as he goes, I mean, yeah, maybe a Colorado, maybe a Florida, but again, it's 
Phil's right. He's gonna he might command a lot of money because he took a bargain to get that deal done the first time around. Um, for 13 years, he was making what? Uh, what is it? Even eight million? Nine. Yeah, nine million. So, um, it's it's one of those things where you just go, all right. Well, uh, I I I see him staying in Washington, and also I, I don't see Ted Ted Leonsis, uh letting him go because that's his boy. Um, back to you, Ant. Uh, any other thoughts? No, I guess I agree. I I, I said in the, in the open, uh, it's like he's just unsigned because Washington knows Seattle is, wouldn't be stupid enough to pick him as their pick. Um, so leaving him on, you know, leaving him exposed um, opens up another spot where they can protect another another forward, uh, and then they could finalize it with Ovechkin after the expansion draft. Um, but again, if for whatever reason they didn't do it in time. Uh, and the 28th opens, and he's allowed to receive phone calls. So it would it'll be interesting to see at that point if, being that he got that far, would he listen to teams and would he give the teams the uh, the time of day? Yeah, Pittsburgh would be that that would be something else. Um, but you know, it's 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 human nature. Once you get to a certain point, you would be naive to think that he would just literally hang up the phone on these age these teams or his agent would and say no 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 you would think there might be a team that calls him that says you know what I'm a free agent now might as well hear their pitch so um i would say it's about 99 percent chance he stays in washington but if it gets to that 28th and he's not signed yet well then at that point you know all bets are off because it just takes one offer from a team and him starting to think oh wow i never thought about playing in this place they got this player x they got this player you know it's a good place to live so we'll see uh and after all the islanders know that because they let john Tavares hear that pitch so uh imagine what could have been <laughs> cross uh crosny hey <laughs> oh wait sorry i forgot sean's other one which is no, I am, but you don't know why I'm here. Ah, uh, a little NWO references right there. I love it. All right. Uh, so could you guys actually see Alexander Ovechkin leave the Washington Capitals? Um, if so, where would he go? Put it all in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, spread the word. We already got two subscribers that are in this, so... Uh, that that already helps. We're expanding and we're doing it because of you guys. So don't forget that. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ooh, your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.